Hi, my name is Pastor Mark Brashear with Cornerstone Baptist Church in Orlando, Florida, and we want to spend the next few minutes talking with you about the gospel. The gospel means good news, good news. And as a doctor might enter the room and say, I've got good news, there are probably bad news preceding that. We understand the gospel the same way. There is a context or a backdrop of bad news that gives us understanding of biblically what the good news is. The Bible says that you and I were made, that we were created, and God created us, despite what an evolutionist might say or despite what an atheist might say. The truth of the Bible is that you and I were made, and we understand that we were made. The Bible says fearfully and wonderfully made. Being made by God, we are not our own. We were created to live for God. We were created to glorify Him with our lives. We were created to bear His image. But the truth is, is that from the beginning, we have failed to do that. The Bible says that in sin, my mother conceived me and brought me forth in iniquity. The Bible says that God, being good, is also just and holy and is of purer eyes than to even behold evil and cannot look on wickedness. The truth of Scripture is that you and I, although we were created in God's image and created to glorify Him, have from our birth lived for ourselves and rebelled against Him, sinned against Him. The very bad news, the very terrifying news is that you and I will one day die and that we will face judgment. We'll have to give an account before a very holy, very just God. We'll have to give an account for our lives. Bible says that we'll stand before him and books will be open. The book of his law will be open and we'll be judged according to our works and we'll have to give an account for what we've done. We've offended God with our sin. The Bible says that God is angry with the wicked every day. That's the terrifying news. God is just, God is holy, and we are not, and we are wicked. As such, God, intending to punish sin, says that the wages of our sin is death. Understanding that bad news is very important to understanding the good news. The good news is that in addition to being just and holy, God is also forgiving. God is loving. God is kind. God is compassionate. God is long-suffering. He's patient toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And so God, in His grace and in His mercy to us, has made provision for our sin, he made provision for us in His Son, Christ Jesus. That's what this video is about. This video is about the gospel, the good news. I don't want to die and go to hell and pay for my own sins. You don't want to die and go to hell and pay the punishment, the awful punishment for your own sins. And you'll be paying that punishment for eternity. The truth is from Scripture that you don't have to. You don't have to. God in His loving grace, His loving kindness towards you has made provision for your sin in the person and work of Jesus Christ, His own Son, God in the flesh. So this video is about the good news. If you listen, we'll talk about what sin is. You're a sinner. I'm a sinner. We have to come to grips with our sin. We have to confess it as sin, understand it as sin, and understand how it has offended God. The Bible says that God is angry with the wicked every day. As a result of sin, there's judgment. In order to understand the loving kindness of God, in order to understand the, the context of the good news, you have to understand the very bad news of judgment and that judgment and eternal torment in hell is a reality and we must contend with that terrifying reality. But then you'll hear about the person and work of Jesus Christ, that God makes provision in His Son, in the death of His own Son for sinners. If you're a sinner, you qualify for that. Beyond Jesus Christ, you'll need to know how to respond rightly to the gospel. So many false gospels in the world today, so many places that will tell you you just have to be a good person to be saved, or maybe you just have to be baptized to be saved. The Bible tells us exactly what we must do to be saved, and I encourage you, listen to what we must do to be saved so that you yourself may flee the wrath of God, may escape the judgment of God, and be adopted into the family of God and be saved.